Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am so excited because I'm finally going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions of the newest fragrance from Kaali and this is Utopia Vanilla Cocoa 21. If you guys are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Alithia and on this channel we talk mostly about perfume. So if you enjoy perfume hauls, reviews, declutters, collections, all of those kind of perfume related things, make sure you head on down and subscribe. And without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, you guys, I'm really excited because today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions of the newest release from Kaali, and this is Utopia Vanilla Coco 21. So Kaali did send this over to me, complimentary to review for you guys, so thank you so very much to Kaali for sending this to me. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Kaali, so um, I kind of have high hopes for this. I'm hoping I love it just as much as I love so many of their other perfumes. I just got it today. I have not even taken off the cellophane, so we're gonna do all of it together. And usually I don't do first impressions um, or unboxings, I should say, because I like to take a little bit of time with the perfume before I tell you my thoughts, because sometimes literally from one hour to the next, you can completely change your mind about a perfume. But um, I thought it would be really fun if we unbox this together and just did the whole thing. So um, yeah, why don't we go ahead and start unwrapping this? Okay, you guys, so already I'm in love with it. <laughs> Even before I spray it, I'm in love with it because how can you not be just wowed by this beautiful packaging? And you guys have said it before, Kaylee packaging is just amazing. Their packaging, their bottles, their presentation, Everything about it is so beautiful. I can't get over how, how stunning it is and I haven't even taken it out of the box. So why don't we go ahead and do that? This is the 50 mil. And of course the notes are always on the back of the Kali boxes. There's more notes than just what's here. These are just kind of the main notes. So let's go ahead and take it out. Wow, that is so beautiful. So again, this is one of those sort of reflective, almost holographic bottles like the Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper was. This is such a beautiful bottle, oh my goodness. It's like this very sort of fantasy rose gold color. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> they describe it in their promos as feeling like you're in the clouds and you're in a utopia, you're on vacation, and that's exactly what it looks like. It looks like a beautiful horizon, really, really beautiful. So um, I, I have to say I, absolutely love this bottle. This is my favorite of all their bottles. Um, so enough about the bottle. I'm really excited to spray this, you guys. I have high hopes for it. The other thing too, like I've told you guys before, I am not a huge fan of straight up coconut fragrances. I'm not a straight, I'm not a fan of fragrances that smell too much like a sunscreen or a suntan lotion. Beachy Scents and I have not been known to be friends. Yeah, why don't we, why don't we give this a spray? Okay, I don't know if you heard that sprayer. Mmm, okay, anyways. I don't know if you heard the sprayer, but they have the best sprayers on their bottles. I caught a little whiff of this already, and it smelled really nice from what I could smell. I have, you guys, I'm so nervous, actually, because I have such high hopes for this. Mmm, okay. Oh my gosh, that smells really nice. Oh my gosh, that smells really nice, you guys. Oh my goodness, it's, okay. Sorry, I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna try to quit saying the oh my gods here for a minute. Oh my gosh, I really, really like it, you guys. Okay, so right away, what I'm getting from it in, in the box anyways is florals. I would say that there are some white florals in here. I'd have to look online. I'm pretty sure there's white floral in here though. Almost like tuberose. It's giving me like a coconutty, vanilla tuberose sort of vibes. There's something creamy and sort of musky about it. Oh my gosh, that smells really pretty. I'm going to spray it on my skin here. I'm just gonna give it a second to dry down on my skin, but that first spray was beautiful. It doesn't smell overly sunscreeny. It doesn't smell overly like 
too coconutty. It doesn't smell like a scent hand lotion. It doesn't smell anything like Tom Ford's um, Eau de Soleil Blanc. Okay, so I do have it on my wrist. Oh, this is really pretty. I don't know how to describe it. I'm getting a lot of bourbon vanilla. The coconut is there, but it's not crazy. It's not like super, super strong. Okay, I have to look up the notes because I have to see what I'm picking up here. Okay, so I'm looking at my phone, obviously, and it says white floral, perfect. That's what I was picking up. Vanilla, coconut, sweet lactonic, tuberose, yes, okay. So, okay, so yeah, I knew there was white florals in here. So we have coconut milk, pear blossom, honeysuckle, and Italian lemon. Then in the middle, we have tuberose, gardenia, jasmine sandback, and ambrette. And in the base, bourbon, vanilla, sandalwood, patchouli, and musk. Okay, so that's making perfect sense because I was getting something creamy, something a little creamy, woody. So that's that sandalwood in there. Definitely lots of vanilla, definitely some white florals, but not overpowering. And yeah, the coconut in the opening. And a, yeah, a tiny bit of freshness. So this is, this is absolutely beautiful. This is that perfect combination of a creamy, sweet, white floral, very tropical white floral smelling, and this beautiful sandalwood. It's, it's creamy, it's milky. It's vanilla, it's got coconut, but I don't think the coconut is overpowering. This doesn't to me smell like a overly beachy coconutty scent. It's not it's not what you would expect from a beachy coconut scent. It does smell like a vacation, but very, very luxurious and creamy and floral. And I absolutely, I absolutely love it, you guys. Mm, this really does make you feel like you're on a vacation. This is a really nice vacation scent. Um, of course, this is a first impression. I'm gonna have to give this a full day wear so I can't speak to the longevity, um, but so far, I it's beautiful. I've taken the basic idea of a beachy, coconutty, summertime perfume and they've put a twist on it and made it into something. Oh, just, oh, it's so enjoyable, you guys. It's so nice. Oh my gosh, let me smell my, it's getting in. Mm, yep, it's good. It's really good. So I'm gonna have to give this a full wear. I think this is perfect for summertime evenings. I would say this would be a great summertime evening scent, like going for dinner in a really beautiful restaurant, beachfront, or anytime, anywhere. This is, this is really nice, you guys. This definitely does, if you smell it and close your eyes, you do feel like you are on a, on a beach somewhere. And it's classy, it's not too coconut, it's not too, it's not too floral. It's like a perfect balance of everything. Because as you guys know, I'm not a straight up coconut fan and I'm also not a straight up white floral fan. This is like the best of both worlds. So the scent, I would say, matches the bottle perfectly. If this color and this bottle had a scent, this would be it. So that is my first impression of the Kiali Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. Yeah, I will say I like this better than Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc. Many of you guys know that I'm not a huge Soleil Blanc fan. Um, I always get questions about that one when I do a coconut perfume video. So this one is actually gonna give my Erin Hibiscus Palm a run for its money because that's the only other coconutty fragrance I have in my collection. So yeah, that's my thoughts on this one for today, you guys. It's absolutely beautiful and um, yeah, I really like it. I cannot wait to wear this one, you guys. So that's it for today's video, you guys. I will definitely come back and update you as to how I feel Utopia wears after I've given it a chance to wear it on a couple of days. I'm really happy to have it because the weather we've been having lately is scorching hot, and this is definitely poolside hot weather type of perfume, so I'm really excited to wear it. And if you haven't already, feel free to head on over and follow me on Instagram, and I will see you guys all very soon in my next video. Bye for now.